Oh, this is cool. Yeah. This would have been some kid's dream to build this model. I would love to have this in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this is a, basically a cross section of the arc just being split down the middle and taking a look. What do you see inside? It's just incredible when you look at all the detail. And, and you have ventilation at the top. Mm -hmm. You have the bow and the stern. Is this the shape and the building structure that you actually built? Yes. Other than without counter. like the ramps and things. Correct. Huh. And if you look at the top, I mean, this is all opened up right here, but a lot of arcs, you see something along the top middle and people say, well, what's that? Uh, that's actually the window. That Hebrew word that we translate window, it's the Hebrew word sohar. And it means noon or midday, something that goes along the top middle that allows in lighting and ventilation. We do the same thing when we build houses nowadays. You have a ridge vent. And okay. again, they would have had that technology because they were smart. They had shipbuilders right. back in Noah's day. That's right. And they would have used the technology of the day, obviously sticking with the guidelines that God has given, the right. length, width, and height, and the three levels. Right. One door, other than that, yeah. it would have been open to whatever would have worked the best. Right, and right here behind us, this is the number of animals that uh, our ARC researchers have that would have fit on board Noah's Ark, that they would have uh, done for those realistic numbers, but still maximized. And uh, what they have is about 1,398 animal kinds, and they translate that to 6,744 actual individuals on the ark. And of course, that's a maximum number, it's probably far less than that, but it shows you how they could have easily fit the different types. There's a lot of detail just right here in this. The ark is one of the most beautiful pictures of salvation. It's a picture of safety. It's a picture of security. There was a judgment that came upon this earth that killed everybody. There's another judgment that's coming. There's a judgment for each person that rejects God, rejects God's love. This ark was a picture of God himself who was going to come and to save the world from sin. There's a door right behind me, and once you go in that door, you're safe. God closed that door. Jesus said that I am the door. He said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. I believe you know what I'm saying is true. I think it's resonating with you because we're looking for salvation. We're looking for hope. You're trying to find hope in every other place in the world and you're not finding it. There is hope found in Jesus. So if you'll simply trust in him, the Bible says you will have right now everlasting life. It's not by works, it's by faith. Let me show it to you this way. The Bible says that all of us have sinned. We've fallen short of the glory of God. Everyone that died in this flood deserved to be separated from God in hell. But Jesus, who knew no sin, watch what happens, was made sin for us. Jesus, the Son of God, died on the cross and rose again. And anyone who will simply believe in him has eternal life. That's good news. The door is open. Now, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ.